Hello, techies! I'm back, along with Techie here. And today, we are doing a vast free antivirus 2016. With a picture of Rudolph on it. Rudolph? It looks like Rudolph from my angle. That's the Avast. I know, but from my angle, it looks like the ears, the eye, and then his glowing nose. But what? The ears? There's the ear. Here, give me the mouse. Oh, wait, you just do right. it. Alright, so there's the ears. There's his eye, and there's his nose. From my angle, it looks like Rudolph. Oh, Maybe they're just in the Christmas spirit. Like anyway, you're not, Scrooge. I... Thank you, thank you. Calling me a Scrooge. All right, what do we got here? Let's take a look at our file size, first of all, and see what we got. Well, we got 153 megabytes for an installation file. Wow. <laughs> what? That's all he's got to say. <laughs> Typical user response right there. So, yeah, that's a decent-sized... Uh, installation file that's probably most likely going to mean that all the installation files are already on the system that we don't it's not a downloader so that's going to hopefully make the installation go faster um, okay. assuming it might download a few things but for the most part it should be pretty quick i'm assuming uh, this is the 2016 version guys got it right off the form so this is the latest version out there so i'll let user drive and uh we'll, we'll do it we'll let user screw everything up again Doo -doo -doo. Again with the doo doo doos. <laughs> of course. See, do you kind of see it now? Like from there, it looks red, so it looks like Rudolph because there's I his don't... eyes. You guys just need you need a better imagination. I guarantee you, some of the comments are gonna go. I see it too. All right, let's see what we have for the installer here before you just go and click install. Uh, so it looks like it wants to install Google Chrome on the bottom, judging by what that says down there, and then click on customize quick. I want to see what they have for customizable settings. Okay, this is really nice, and Avast has always done this. Avast has always had it so you can essentially install each individual shield. So you see we got the file shield, web shield, mail shield, browser protection. I'm not going to go through them all. Yeah. Uh, you can individually select which modules you want to install and which ones you don't. So that's really nice. As well, we can select our path of installation. So we can go ahead and click back. All right. And then I guess however you would install it. Okay, I guess we're just going to install You hit install because it's the only button you could really hit. You want to install Chrome too? You don't have it, so yes. Oh, you're right, I don't have it. Very observant of you. Yeah. Well, I could still have it, but I could have hidden it. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like we have our installation window going <clears throat> over there, and it's going pretty quick. Surprisingly. Yeah. Unlike some of them. Yeah, some of them, it's like... <laughs> You've been sitting here forever. <laughs> oh, see, now that you said something, mm, yeah. way to go. Yeah, well, we we're going to do a fake tech support too tonight, but I don't think we're going to have time for that. Probably not. Maybe this yeah. weekend. We can try to do that. I had to work late, guys. It was just complete chaos. And there. I had off today. Woo! Yeah, I know. The day he's got off is the day that freaking all crowd, j j shit hits the fan. Yeah. And this is taking like... Forever, like, because you said something. If you don't see anything, <laughs> it goes just fine. Seriously. Yeah, but as that's, soon as you That's say, your mentality? As soon as you say something about it, it's like, oh, I'm going to stop and just go slow. That's the user mentality, That's then. everyone's mentality. I get it from my father. Yeah, I can see that. I know. <laughs> you could have started that vlog, man. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's almost done. Look at it. Almost. It's, it's getting it's, there. It's trying. It wants to try really hard. Well, the computer's on fire. Mm, yeah, it's okay. I got the fire extinguisher over here. Seriously. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, here Woo! we go. All right. So it looks like we have our Google Chrome over there that just showed up. And then we got a vast free antivirus. Or it's doing something. I know it's doing a lot of things right now. Rudolph edition, as you call yeah, it. Yeah, Rudolph edition. <laughs> you guys, you don't see it, really? No, I don't. See, oh. see maybe you All should right. alter it and make it look a little more like Rudolph oh, for us. Oh, okay, from my angle, it looks like Rudolph. If you so. do that, I'll put that in the thumbnail. What, Rudolph? If you alter the Avast logo okay. and put Rudolph in there, <laughs> okay. I will put that in the thumbnail. All right, challenge accepted. All right, woo! Hey, look, Here you're protected. Go. That's it. That's it. You are protected. That's pretty easy, wasn't it? Please don't skip this. Did you read it care? Uh oh. Oh boy, here we go. Now see now that's why you don't install Chrome. Oh, because you put you clicked on it. I did not click on it. Bullshit. Oh no, I didn't. You clicked on it's it. It's called it launches after installation. You clicked on no, it. No, I saw you click on it. I did I'm not like, click whatever. on it. I hovered over it. Yeah, whatever. Defend that's, me, techies, please. It's the same thing you clicked on it. All right. So, oh, we can get a mobile app? By the I'm way, did you read that. that carefully? It said read it carefully. No. Oh, typical user. 
and I don't want the mobile app. Hey, there you go. At least you read that. Yeah, well, it says in bold letters. We I run mobile. the mobile app. Yeah, well, this is for a review, so. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm just right. saying. So first, off, first thoughts on the interface, what do you think? It looks like it might be fairly simple to use. Like, I, it's here, pretty much here's your scan, here's your passwords, here's your store. I don't... What do you mean? They can buy stuff You now? can go shopping. Seriously? Yep. So you can buy their paid versions. They have a whole tab dedicated to that. 180 bucks for tech support? Yeah. yeah and yeah. then you complain about my prices. I, I don't complain about your prices <laughs> No, you at don't. All. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, so we got passwords right over here. It looks like we have an area to store our passwords in. Uh, they've had this in previous versions as well. This is really sure? nothing oh. new. I believe they have made some improvements to it as... Uh, in this version, I believe it's better integrated with the browser. Uh, they do have uh, Rescue Disk, as you can see here within the tools, Secure VPN. You do have to pay for that Secure, secure VPN and Remote Assistance, but you do have to pay for that. And now I see the Firewall and the, yeah, you have to pay for that. Firewall and Sandbox are not included with really? this version. You have to get the Internet Security version for those features. Wow. So that, that's a, yeah, that's kind of their way. I mean, they offer it for free and they're one of the, what best known next to AVG free antiviruses out there, and they're decent uh, from tests that I've had in the past. So um, I think that all around they do a pretty good business with kind of taking away some of those features and having some features within their paid program. So right now it looks like user just clicked on the settings window here, and uh, we have on the left side a bunch of tabs. We have app active protection update, registration tools, uh, and then the general tab. It looks like we can adjust our icon animation. And uh, a few other settings here, deep scan, things like that, sounds, pop-ups. I think this is mostly the same in this interface right here. So we want to just go through the tabs quick here on the settings. So let's click on act active protection. Yep, we got uh, file system shield. Just click on customize on that. Quick and see what we got there. Okay, so yeah, we have lots of settings in Avast as we, as we think we talked about last time. Actually, we've never done a techie versus user on this. On this one? From what I saw, yeah. I, I don't, don't think I we don't, did. Yeah. So uh, Avast has always had a lot in the way of settings within there. And I mentioned that in the last video that I did solo. Uh, but if we click on some of the tabs, just you can cycle through them you know, kind of quickly here. As you can see, we have an ability to scan packers, adjust the sensitivity for heuristics, uh, things like that. Uh, you can scan different archive files. As you can see, I mean, this is pretty intense when it comes to yeah. customizations. You can really do a lot with the vast, and this is all for free too. This, this part is. Yeah, this is all free. Um, we can adjust uh, what we want to do with viruses when they're detected by the real time scanner. Um, and if action fails, uh, we can change the settings there. So, what I'm going to do though, go back to that, is I'm going to change uh, what? actions. Yep, yep. Change this. Uh, if action fails, go to delete. Yep, so that's what I want. And then if action fails, delete again, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to be a little redundant there, you know? So yeah, I just want to delete it um, if the existing action fails. And actually, remember how I remember last time we had some issues with detection rates because when it fixes it automatically, it typically will try to disinfect the file, leaving the apparent file there, yeah. meaning that our numbers will be skewed. So go ahead and change fix automatically. Uh, change that down to delete because we want to just delete them, get rid of them. Yeah. So... Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm completely drew a blank. Change that back. This is the real time scanner. I want to do it with the on demand scanner. So, yeah. That's a long day, senor. I can tell. Yeah. All right. So that looks good. Let's just click on um, pop right there, which is potentially unwanted program. We'll leave those the same. As you can see, multiple <clears throat> settings in the way that we can adjust there. So go ahead and click OK on that. And then click on Web Shield. And let's just go through that. We aren't going to go through the email shield at all. Um, right, customize, okay. yep. Okay. No, I just bumped the microphone so the techies ears just got probably blasted. Sorry, guys. Uh, so this does come with a web scanning shield. So essentially, this is their web protection portion. We're going to test this with the links. Hopefully, this will be superior um, and just block them right there and then. Uh, same settings really along the side. Uh, we got site blocking capabilities, uh, sensitivity capabilities, so we can detect, uh, we can adjust how well it's going to detect those sites um, and how sensitive it's going to be in its heuristic analysis of those uh, websites packers um, once again as you can see right there much of the settings are redundant within this area so yeah, I don't want to do that. yeah that's customized yeah. site blocking so we can you know block any sites we want to all right uh, click on let's just click on tools update is update um, oh. go ahead and click on update definitions there 
we'll make sure that they're up to date as you can see and that's good look on program update we'll make sure we have the latest program and we already have it so everything's all up to date yeah no problems there it click on be. what there shouldn't be yeah well exactly we just installed it know, and but it, remember there it, are a few programs that we've done that are very yeah. difficult to update and that a lot of times they'll say you're protected even though you're not so it yeah. looks like a vast is a very good job at making sure you're protected um in that aspect so uh we do have and there goes my phone all right, sorry about that, guys. My phone rang, and there was just a whole bunch of commotion. Anyways. It was a stripper. He knocked up a girl. All right, moving on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now this now this video is so nice, and then it just, just went, it just, we brought it down, like three notches right there, okay? Oh, my God. You can edit that out, but you probably I, won't. I probably won't. I'll probably just leave it in there, because it'll just be too much work. Anyways, troubleshooting. That's troubleshooting, guys. We're not going to really go through that, but I've asked those self-defense. Um, so that's quite nice to see that they have that capability to defend themselves. And hopefully we'll get to see that in action. Anyways, that's it for that. Uh, you can see the version we're testing right here is 11.1. .1. Great uh, virus definitions is that big number right there. And if you go to about right there again, you can actually see the amount of definitions they have right there. Oh. Yeah. And that's not, in, that, that's in not including generic detections either. Yeah. So that's a lot of viruses and a lot of malware right there. All right. So we'll look okay now, and um, I think that's relatively pretty much it for the interface. Go back to the home. I'll click on home there. See there. There we go. So all around, um, I think, and my computer's not running slowly. I, I, I don't, you know, that's a that's a premium feature, I believe. Uh, but okay. um, it's running perfectly fine. Anyways, as you can see, I like the interface. I think it's so far pretty. It's pretty easy nice. to navigate. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, I think that's going to be it, though, for the configuration portion. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the prevention test. Woo! Yeah, there we go. So, all right, we'll click OK there. As you can see, we're all protected and ready to go. Let's throw some malware at it. Woo!